Honorable uh, Minister, Your Excellency, members of the diplomatic corps, uh, representatives of uh, international agencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulovinak, and a very good morning to you all. I'm uh, delighted to be here this morning to launch uh, two new initiatives that will dramatically boost our ability to provide health care to thousands of Fijians living in remote maritime communities. The first, of course, is the commissioning of a new vessel, the MD Robin, to service the outlying islands in the Loma Loma Medical Subdivision in Lao. And the second is a highly imaginative uh, project called Sea Mercy to provide roving health care from two larger vessels traveling between all the islands of the Lao group. Both are partnerships between the Ministry of Health and external groups. In the case of the Robin, the local district hospital board in Loma Loma contributed $30,000 to its total cost of $83,000. So this is the partnership between the local community in Munambalau and the government, working uh, hand in hand to deliver better health outcomes for ordinary people in the Eastern Division. And in the case of Sea Mercy Project, the ministry has joined forces with an international aid organization, the Sea Mercy Foundation, to cast a healthcare net even wider. The two catamarans, as you can uh, see further out here, just parked alongside, will travel throughout the law group with a team of uh, medical professionals conducting outreach clinics from their respective bases in Loma Loma, Unambalahu, and Tumbo and Lakemba. These uh, catamarans deliver uh, provide us with floating platforms to deliver a range of health service, health care services to people living in some of the most isolated places in Fiji. I'm uh, very excited about this project and its potential to deliver better health outcomes for ordinary people. A team of international volunteers has been assembled to work with personnel from the Ministry of Health on board the Sea Mercy vessels. And they, when they anchor at a particular island, they will, of course, bring with them an unprecedented capacity to deal with a range of medical and dental complaints. Whether it is uh, oral care, eye care, or treating the common ailments and illnesses of any maritime community, the people of Lao will soon have a new friend to turn to in, terms of, in times of need. And I'm sure that it will take no time at all for the Sea Mercy Cruise to be greeted as treasured visitors at islands and villages all over, the, all over the Lao group. On behalf of the people of Lao and every Fijian, I want to express my warmest thanks to the Sea Mercy Foundation and its founders, Richard and Stephanie Hackett, for this uh, magnificent uh, contribution to the care of our people. Just as I thank the people of Unombalabu for their contribution through the Loma Loma Hospital Board to the cost of the building, uh, cost of building the Robin. Today marks the beginning of a new era in our ability to provide community health outreach clinics in our outer islands. And that era has only been made possible by a wonderful collaborative effort between government and the community. In the case of Loma Loma and, in the, and an international aid agency, in the case of the CMC. For both these commitments to the health and well-being of our people, we are extremely grateful. This is also an opportune time to reflect on the contribution made to healthcare of Fiji over the years by a succession of international partners. Some of these projects have been large, like the current partnership between Australian doctors and our Ministry of Health to eradicate the scabies, the Mila Mila, that for too long has been an uncomfortable feature of life in Fiji. Others have been smaller, but no less dramatic whether it's visiting teams of uh, cardiac surgeons, mending our people's hearts, or cosmetic surgeons correcting a hair lip and putting a smile on a child's face. Some of the top medical professions in their fields have given their time free of charge over the years to assist ordinary Fijians. Some from our traditional friends like Australia, New Zealand, and the US. Others from much further afield like Israel. I cannot stress enough how important these partnerships have been 
and will continue to be for the well-being of our people. Or how grateful we are that uh, you have been willing to help. So I want to pay a special tribute to the first rotation of overseas volunteers for the Sea Mercy Mission who will join uh, the, their vessels in Tavuni this weekend. Welcome to Fiji and may you be blessed with fair winds and smooth seas. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to deliver proper standards of healthcare to meet the needs of the ordinary people is a continuing challenge, even in the most advanced countries. Nations like the United States, Britain and Australia are facing unprecedented pressure on their own healthcare systems as more people live longer and demand better care. So it is only natural that we face an even bigger challenge in a, in a developing country like Fiji where the gap between the demand for health services and our ability to supply them is often stretched to the limit. You will uh, hear a lot of promises made by would-be politicians about health in the lead-up to the elections in September. They are already saying that more needs to be sent, spent on health, just as they say more needs to be spent on everything else uh, without ever saying where the money will come from. I want to be frank with the Fijian people about what we can do and cannot do in the healthcare area. We cannot meet every demand overnight. That is because for many years there has been very little investment in our health system. In other words, there has been no long-term vision or goal. We are starting from the basics in many areas and the public health system. Notwithstanding that, in the past six years, my government has created 696 new jobs for doctors in the Ministry of Health and 1,510 new positions for nurses. We've also increased the number of medical professionals being trained in Fiji and overseas. And all over the country, we have set up new healthcare clinics with increased operational hours and with an uh, emphasis on delivering service to all Fijians, whether in the urban or peri-urban areas or in remote uh, rural and maritime areas. We have invested millions of dollars in new medical equipment. Cabinet has also just approved another 553 positions for ancillary workers in the system, cleaners, hospital orderlies. In fact, no other government has ever made the investment that we have made and are still making to deliver a better standard of health care in Fiji. The one thing I can promise you is this. While we may not uh, as yet have everything we want in the way of staff and equipment, my government is doing everything we possibly can to use what we have wisely, efficiently, uh, and to maximum effect. We are always seeking uh, imaginative ways to overcome the problems we face, to think outside the box, to enable us to meet an acceptable standard of healthcare for a country of our size and means. And that means the uh, strongest possible commitment from our health workers who, are, who we highly value for their dedication and skills. It is about doing more with less my underlying philosophy when it comes to government generally, while at the same time doing everything possible to grow our economy, to increase the size of the national cake so that we can spend more on health and everything else. Again, uh, when it comes to vote, remember this, promises are cheap, action speaks louder than words. And my government is growing our economy by a projected 3.8% this year. And Fiji is on the move. And that means more investment, more job creation, and more money for health. And in the meantime, we will also forge partnerships that deliver better health care for ordinary Fijians. We would uh, naturally like to see more local community involvement in helping us to provide health care services, like the partnerships, uh, partnership that has produced the uh, MD Robin, and more international involvement through projects like Sea Mercy. With one vessel operating in Tonga, and now these two in Fiji, the Sea Mercy Foundation is living up to its pledge to fill the gap between the needs of people in isolated maritime communities and the ability of governments to meet uh, those needs. It is all about upholding the principle of service to others, serving the needs of ordinary Fijians, which makes Sea Mercy an ideal partner for a government that shares the same value. And so, Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in welcoming Sea Mercy to Fiji and launching its project in Laos. And I have equally great pleasure 
in launching the MD Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Al? How you doing? Bula. Bula. Al? Here's the cat. Yes, Al. Pleased to meet you. Where are you from, Al? From Indiana. Originally from uh, the north of England, way back when. Okay. When the rocks were soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, how long have you been captain on the ship? Uh, since 98. We built uh, this one in particular? Yeah. We built this boat in, uh, from 95 to 98, and we've been sailing ever since seven to nine months a year. So, so. so where did you drive this ship from? We came from Florida. We started in, uh, Florida. in December. December 18th, we left uh, Florida, Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. Sailed down through Belize, Honduras, down to uh, San Blas Islands mm -hmm. in Panama, and Galapagos. And Marquesas, Tuamotus, Tonga. So you came So we came, yeah, 9,600 miles. Mm. That was a pretty good trip. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. Now you've sailed down to the South Yeah, South I, came, I came, I came well to, uh, I brought the two Navy boats from, um, from Louisiana. Oh yeah, yeah. And then Panama and, yeah, yeah. But I had to go up again to uh, uh, California to fill up before oh. I came down to. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, so, you did some also sailing, or not sailing, oh, but around yeah, sailing, South America. Ship, yeah, on the South, yeah. South America, yeah. down the yeah. Cape, oh, and yeah. up the nice. East Coast. Yeah. Mm. So, that was good. Yeah. Good eight, eight months, yeah. 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 yeah.